Welcome everyone, this is Asadullah Chaudhary and in this tutorial we'll be discussing about CSS positioning. CSS positioning is a very very important concept for all the web designers which allows you to position your elements the way you want. So you can overlap your elements, you can put your elements wherever you want on the web page. So there are four types of CSS positioning properties. The first one is static, second one is relative third one is absolute and the fourth one is fixed so if you want to position your element so you'll be using top bottom left right instead of margin top margin left margin right and margin bottom if you want to position your elements, you will not be using the margin top, margin left and margin right properties. But you will be using top, bottom, left and right properties. So what is static positioning? All of the HTML elements are by default static positioned. So what does it mean? Let me show you my mockup. At the moment I have a container and I gave it, a, I gave it an ID and that's a wrapper that contains three of the elements the first one is heading image and then the paragraph tag and uh, let me show you my CSS style sheet I just applied style to the wrapper tag not to the internal tags heading image as well as the paragraph tags are not yet styled or not yet positioned so at the moment the page looks like this all of the elements are in the no in in the normal flow and uh, all of the elements are static positioned at the moment so let's suppose if I want to apply if I want to apply top 50 pixels to my heading tag so let's see what's gonna happen top 50 pixels the top property will not work with your static position elements. Let's go back to the browser. If I refresh the browser, nothing happened. So whenever, whenever you haven't mentioned any, you haven't mentioned the pro, uh, position property, you'll be using margin top, margin left, margin right instead. But if you mention the position property to relative, fixed or absolute, then you will be able to use top, left, right and bottom properties in CSS. So let's talk about relative positioning. So relative positioning gives you the great control to put your, put your elements anywhere. The static position element position itself relative to its normal position the normal occurrence so let's go back to our web browser let me refresh and the page looks like this at the moment let me go back and let me open up my styles style.css let me remove the style and what if I want to move my heading 10 pixels down actually not 10 pixels down let me give it some bigger value the 100 pixels and I don't want my image tag as well as the paragraph tag to be affected so what my goal is I just want my heading to be moved 100 pixels down and I want my image as well as the paragraph paragraph tag to stay where they are at the moment so what's the remedy so let me go back let me show you first what if I apply the margin top property margin top 100 pixels so now you have to notice uh, what is going to happen refresh this is not what I wanted. I applied 
100 pixel top 100 pixels top margin to the heading tag and that also affected the image tag as well as the paragraph tag everything is shift 100 pixels down so let's go back and remove this rule let me refresh let me position it relative and uh, the top is going to be 100 pixels so let's see what's going to happen if i refresh the page the heading has has been moved successfully neither the image nor the paragraph so this was my goal so i have successfully achieved my goal using the relative positioning so the relative positioning if you want to position your elements relative so it will be positioned according to its normal flow or according to its its relative to its normal existence or normal occurrence so let's go back and uh, discuss about absolute positioning let me undo the changes refresh all right so what is absolute positioning absolute positioning is used whenever you want to put your element wherever you want i mean if you want to put the image at the bottom right corner or if you want to put the image on the left top of top corner or anywhere but the image will stay the image markup will stay where it is at the moment here i will not i will not the i will not put my image outside of the wrapper it will stay over here but i'll change its position using the css so how how can i do this let's suppose i want to put my image on the right top corner here let me drag the image here so what's going to happen how can i achieve this so i'm going to give give it position absolute so before going further let me show you what's going to happen if i refresh the browser actually i want to give position absolute to my image right let me undo the changes so i'll start from the scratch so there won't be any kind of confusion for you guys so the normal flow looks like like this first the heading tag then the image and then the paragraph tag if i apply position position absolute to my image tag so now let's see what's going to happen if i refresh the page the paragraph tag goes up so what does it mean at the moment as you can see the image looks like where it is in the normal flow but it isn't actually whenever you apply absolute positioning or fixed positioning your element doesn't stay in the normal flow it is removed from the normal flow that's why the paragraph tag has been moved back to where the image is placed it has occupied the place of the image the image is not into the normal flow of the page anymore so let me put my image position my image on the right top corner of the page all i have to do is to use top 0 means it should be top 0 and right zero so now let's check this out into the browser image has been positioned to the right top corner successfully so at the moment the image has been positioned relative to the browser 
or you can say the image has been positioned relative to the HTML the parent okay look let's go back and now let's suppose I wanna I wanna put my image on the bottom right corner of my wrapper tag so how can I achieve this all I need to do is to position my wrapper relative if I position my wrapper relative and I refresh the page and I give it bottom 0 and right 0 so let's refresh the browser here you can see we have successfully placed position our image on the bottom right corner of the wrapper so this is how the absolute positioning works there is one thing more let's suppose if the wrapper position was fixed what will happen then if I refresh the browser nothing will be changed but the margin will be removed the left margin will be removed and the wrapper will be fixed if you scroll up or scroll down the wrapper will not be moved at all all right let's go back and remove the fixed position of the wrapper as well as the bottom style I'm gonna remove the image style as well so now let's talk about the fixed positioning so at the moment our page looks like this everything is in normal flow so what is the fixed position whenever you want to position your elements fixed so your element will be positioned relative to the window relative relative to the browser window or relative to the HTML the parent not the container the parent HTML so what does it mean as we have discussed before about absolute positioning if you apply the fixed, pos fixed positioning to any of your element the element will be moved out from the normal flow and the other elements will occupy the left place same like we just discussed about absolute positioning so this doesn't happen if you are using the relative positioning but it happens if you are using either absolute or either the fixed positioning so let me position the image tag to fixed and let's refresh the page the same thing has happened this was happened when I positioned my image tag to be absolute position absolute so at the moment the image tag is not in the normal flow of the code anymore and the paragraph tag has occupied its left place so that, that's why it looks it, it looks like this if you look at the image it looks like if it was in the normal flow but it isn't actually it has been removed from the normal flow all right so now let me give it some top top zero and left zero I want to put my image on the left top corner to the page so let's see what's gonna happen here you have noticed I have successfully put my image to the left top corner of the page perfect and uh, there is one thing to notice if I give my body a huge height and the height is going to be 2000 pixels if I refresh the page if I scroll down the image will stay where it is since it is fixed it will not move at all and you can place your image anywhere with fixed or even with absolute positioning so normally whenever I use absolute positioning I made my container 
that contains the internal elements to be positioned and my container is always relative what i mean to say is whenever i want to use the absolute positioning i always position my external element relative and i use and i apply the absolute positioning to the internal element as we did in our first as we did when we were discussing about the absolute positioning i applied the relative positioning to the wrapper and then i applied the absolute positioning to the image so that way the image stayed into the wrapper i was able to put the image wherever i wanted but still into the wrapper all right then thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial